welcome back all of you nana here and then uh, we end with the next day's program on this uh, product data hub implementation so let me go on and share my screen so now today we are going to begin our activity on uh, attribute enrichment actually that is called definition phase actually so before you doing it we have to what happens is set up the emp2 and then emp3's uh, roles actually i go to the tools and then i go to the security console and then let us now set up the roles for the emp2 and emp3 I go to the users, no fine, go to the users, and then go there. I will now query for G71. So yesterday we had tested the automatic approval with the, what happens with the, a, a, with the request to EMP4 about whether to create the item or not. So one minute says, okay, okay, it allows you to create an item and then the approval is automatic actually. So now what you're going to do is we will now set up the definition phase. In the definition phase, we are going to enrich the item attributes. So click on the EMP2. EMP2 is the one. I click on it. I am clicking on the EMP2. And then I will now, first of all, reset the password. So let us now reset the password. Mm -hmm. So reset the password is no reason. And then let us now add the roles for the EMP2. So the EMP2 roles I am going to add. So if he is going to involve on the PDH activity, so we have to have these two basic roles. So I click on add roles. So I will now say product data, <coughs> product data steward. No. I will now go for product data steward. I select it and then click on add role. And then the product manager role is also required. So these are two basic roles which are required for the PDH activity. You know. I will now go to the product manager. This is the one of Vora. Choose it, frankly, on that. And then always add the employee as abstract role. Employee is an abstract role. It is normally given to every employer. So click on that role. So we are now given the roles for this user, actually. The password is also reset. Right? Click on save and close. Maybe the activity is now complete. The activity is now complete. Right? Click on that. Similarly, for the EMP3 also, we will now give the same thing. Right? Click on the EMP3. So we will now set up these things. Right? Click on the reset password. The manually, I am going to reset it, actually. So click on reset password. So the password is now getting reset actually. Mm. And then click on edit. And then click on add rules. So here this what is that product data steward of Vora. I'm choosing it now. Can click on it and then click on add rules. And then product manager. Manager. So product manager of Vora, we are not using it, find selected and then click on add roles. And then click on demo. So with that, and then we will now add the employee role also. We always have a habit of giving the employee. Employee role. Click on add roles, we click on <clears throat> So with that, save and close by which the EMP2 and EMP3 are now fully set to operational. So click on that. Click on homepage. Now, let us open up the worksheet. No, frankly, we are now going to begin the definition phase, actually. We are going to begin the definition phase. Definition PDH worksheet is the one. You open it up. Maximize it. Close the other one. Now go down. We are in the definition phase of it now. So we are now started the product data hub. And then we created legal user. And then we went on. And then after having done the, all the initial setups, we are now seeing what the validation rule, then afterwards the assignment rule, and then the concatenation rule. Fine, all the things have been sent. And then after completing all the basic three, we are now gone for automatic approval. NIR approval automatic has been completed yesterday, actually. It's a very tough one. So watch it and then try to practice each and everything also. Now we are going to go for the definition phase. In the definition phase, the creator is now creating with certain attributes, actually. But now what happens? Uh, the yeah, enricher. The attribute enricher is going to make a change of the attribute and then afterwards it will be submitted for approval actually. No. In the definition phase, I will go there. So I will now go to the item class and then provide definition workflow details actually. They won't do it. Okay. Provide the so go there. This is the one. Click on it. I will now go to the place. I will now go to the manage item class. Yeah. Click on it. I will now go to the manage item class. Go to the setup and maintenance. I will now go to the manage item class. Click on it. So click on search now. And such, and then I'll go to the manage item class. 
So go to the management class and go that corner. Let me query my G71. <laughs> Let me query my G71. And then click on search, you know, fine, click on search. And then you'll get all the three now. So out of which, what happens? I will not choose the i5 laptop. So below the laptop, I have i3, i5, i7. But in this instance, I have created only on i5. Now I choose the i5 and then click on OK. So once it's done, what happens? It gets selected. And then if you click on edit, the i5 laptop will be coming into edit mode now. Now coming into edit mode. Now I will now go to the item management. So here we are now seeing about how, what happens? The inheritance is working, how the enable new item request is also working. Now we are going to introduce the definition worked overflow details. Now, so expand it. We are going to click on definition of fields. So go there. So you expand it and then click on plus and then I'm going to do it. And then go there. Step, step sequence number is what? Let's say 10 now. And then here, assignee type is going to be person. Response required from assign to. Fine. So I'm now going to give the second employee, second user actually, not the employee. If it is the employee, it is EMP2, comma, space, G71 underscore. But it is a user, I have to start with G71. User means what? G71, you have to start. You have to start with the user. So I will now say, what about EMP2? We have to give it now. And EMP2 is not coming. I don't know it. So, so that means what? Whatever you change is not visible, actually. So whenever it is not visible, you have to log out and log in and then do it. I will now give a cancel now. So the thing has been given now. Fine. The product data steward role has been given. But it is not sensed by the system. So go there. Click on that now. Fine. And then always have a habit of what? You go to the home icon and then run the import user role now. Find tools and then go to the scheduled process and then run the import user role. So click on it because that will now sync all the setups on the say on the security console to the transaction systems now. Find import percentage mine, user percentage mine, role percentage. But so this will now sync everything now. Find the import, find uh, import user percentage mine, role percentage, and then search for it. Search for it. It'll be coming. So it is going to click on OK now. Fine. It'll move enter. So this will now sync all the security console setups into the transaction systems. Now, fine. Click on running. It's not running now. Fine. Click on it. It's not running. So wait for it to complete. Mm -hmm. So it's not running. 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 So import user role is the one. Click on it. It is not coming. It is not running. 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 Now so wait for this to complete now. And then in the meantime, what happens? Also run the LDAP also. So customarily, these two concurrent, so these two ESS jobs, you run whenever you make any changes on the security console. Retrieve LDAP. Even though in the field, it is not required because the system has got an inbuilt mechanism of syncing and that will take around after three or four hours. Now. In the field, when you set up, you won't do the transactions immediately. And so no need to worry at all. So the inbuilt syncing mechanism will now sync it. But we want immediate results. And so whatever, you know, running it forcefully actually. We are syncing it forcefully. So this syncing of forcefulness is not required in the field now. Fine, we can very well uh, do it. We will now leave it to the system to do it actually. So sometimes it comes as a block. Right? Doesn't matter. After some time, it will automatically invoke and then run. So it is not done. Fine. So we'll wait for one more minute and then afterwards, what happens? We will now log out and log in and then again go for the enrichment of the definition phase actually with EMP2 to what happens? Uh, do the enrichment actually. I hope that uh, this much of a time is sufficient for us to have the system syncing the setups on the security console to the transaction systems. So let me go there and then log out. So sign out now. Go and sign out. And then click on confirm now. And then go there. I will now sign. So we are signing in now. So the system might have synced now by this time. And go there. Click on it. I will now go to what? Manage item class. I click on it. I'll now go to the setup and maintenance. And then do the manage item class. So click on search. I click on search. And then I go to the manage item class. Manage percentage quick. Item percentage quick. Class percentage. I go there and now. I will not choose it now. I will not query my G71. G71, I am querying it. Fine, click on search now. And then there, I will not choose the i5 laptop. That is where I am working on now. Fine, click on it. And then click on edit. So it is already selected at the bottom actually. No need to worry at all. Fine, click on edit. You can now see in the top, it is now selected. Now I go to the item management. So the item management is with a what happens with a new request now. I will now go down and then expand the definition workplace. This is called attribute enrichment. Attribute enrichment. Fine. Click on expand now. Go there. So click on plus. So here sequence number is what? 10. Go there. And then here assigned to all is one person. And then response required is one. And then I will now put G71. You will now find all the three, all the four employees will be coming. But still, it is not coming. Fine. Click on more and then make a search. Now I click on more. The username is what? G71. And then click on search and find because the syncing is not happening. So even then, whatever there is, is not coming at all. I click on search. 
it has to come up and it's not coming at all. <clears throat> So the two and three employees is not coming back as well because now that sinking is not at complete actually. That is the reason that it is not coming back. Go that to one, cancel it. And then go there, I will not give a cancel. No, fine. I will again log out and log in and then wait for the sync to complete. Right, click on that. Log out and log in. Sign out and sign in. So let me stop the record for two minutes now because it takes some time actually. No, stop it. So now the import user role is still running actually. But in the meantime, whatever they go there and then have a look at the Excel sheet. So once when it is done, we are now going to do what on the item operational attributes. I will now choose the inventory area and then I will now make the employee to what happens to do it. Right? I will now choose the EMP2. Right? I will not do it. Then afterwards, what happens? I will now introduce the definition phase on the manage new item request types. Remember, there's only one single one, and then for the whole instance, there's only one actual. Go there there. What happens? You go there and then you will not introduce no point. Default in there, all these things you do it, right? So go there. <clears throat> and then afterwards, after having done this, no point, after having done this, you will not do and then create a new item and then submit. So once when you submit it, what happens? Uh, you before submitting it, what happens? You had to ensure that the data governance and consolidation are on actually. So the uh, uh from data governance point, what happens? I can uh, what happens? We will not first of all ensure that part no point whether the data governance is on or not. Fine, go there. So you will not click on it. Now go there and then have a look. All right, then see. No, still running now. Fine, no, running, running, running. So in the meantime, what happens? We will not have to in, in, enable the data governance and consolidation. Fine, go to the setup and maintenance. And then we'll not go there. So click on it. And then click on the actions and then go to offerings. Go to the offerings. And then in the product management, we'll not go to the product management. And then you will not click on the what? Opt in features and then see whether the governance and consolidation are on. So somebody made a oh, switch off. No, fine, click on it. We'll not ensure that it is on actually. <clears throat> So that we can very well create a new item and then send it for definition phrase in page one. Opt-in features, we go there and click on it. Now go down, or click on it. We'll now enable the governance and consolidation. So go there, go down, go there, go down, go down. And then data governance is on, fine, data governance is on. And then consolidation is also on. And consolidation is not on, no, fine. So governance is on, consolidation is not on. So let me enable both things. So governance and consolidation are on now. I click on that. And then once we make a change here, we have to log out and log in. I click on that. And then you log out and log in. So data governance and consolidation on. I click on that. And then we will log out and log in. I click on it. We will sign out and sign in. Sign out and then sign in. Now we will go to the manage item phase, item class, and then we will introduce the definition phase. We will go to the step and maintenance. Click on it and here click on search. Now go to what? Manage item class. Enter it now. You go there. Right? Click on it. And then query for the G71. Right? G71 and then enter it now. Go there. G71 and enter it. Right? Choose it. Choose it and then click on okay. And then click on edit. Edit. And then go there. And then go to the item management. The item management, we are now seeing the new item request is on. Expand the definition phase and then go there. Say Murga, then click on plus two. Sequence number is what 10. Go there. And then as any type is what person. And then one now point go there. I will now put G71. Come, 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 two, three, come, come, come. They're asking for it. It's still not coming. So click on more now point. So that is now changing a lot of time actually. Find G71. And then I click on search now. Only two are coming. I'll now go to the advanced level at the top and then try to make a search now. Click on it. So I will now say contains. I will not choose contains and then what happens? I make a search. No, I click on search. No, see whether the two or three are coming. It is not coming at all. <laughs> so I will not use the four itself. For my... <laughs> Maybe after some time it will be coming. I click on four. No, <laughs> the four is not chosen. No. <laughs> now go there. I will not go to what? No, that right? the person is one. No, I go there. Assign the username. So now I done it for into two or three. I have not done the four itself. The business entity is going to be item operational attributes. Now I go there. Go there. I will not drop down. I will not choose what item operational attributes. Choose the item operational attributes. And then the associated entity. Right? Associated entity is what inventory. So we can choose for any of the areas now. Right? Now this guy is now going to be given on inventory. He is now going to enrich it now. So similarly, what happens? Uh, we can use a uh, Ramba for purchasing and then Menaka for what happens? Order management like that. What happens? You can even choose different different people. Actually. So I will not go to the inventory now. And then here, what happens? You go there. Uh, flex field group is not required. 
uh, all values required now if you say that everything has to do fine that might not be required and then you can even what happens is selectively choose also if you click on it what happens you can even choose which which field he has to do fine whatever there so if you leave it what happens you can do on any otherwise what happens is he has to choose only those and then do it again so that's it fine for that so we are now added this now you can uh, you do the enrichment on any of the attributes of inventory actually emp4 so click on save and close now back click on save and close and move down so you know completed fine so this activity of item class enrichment of the definition phase is now complete actually i go there so click on that and then afterwards whatever they go there and then here whatever you know go to the manager new item request type details right you know go there you know take up the copy you know choose it there we are going to introduce the definition phase so click on it fine click on it new item request information so here, whatever you go there, everything is there. Default as any, you can leave it as a because we are not going to assign to anybody at all. So I go to the workflow. Okay, click on the so go there. I will know what happens is skip the request. Now, fine, go there, skip the request. And then I am now bringing it to the definition phase. Fine. And somebody has already made a change of fine. Previously, it is approved. So what happens is now going to the definition phase. So now here from this, what happens is it will be going to the definition phase. After the enrichment, it will be submitted for approval. The approval is already automatic, actually. And then it gets completed, actually. So once with the EMP4, what happens? Uh, enrich the attribute of the inventory. What happens? It will be coming. So here, no change is required because somebody has already made a change actually here. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not doing anything at all. If you go to the approval, fine, go there. At the bottom, what happens? You can see is <laughs> user defined. And go there. It's not a user defined. Drop it down and then make it as a rule based. <laughs> Assignment method is rule based now, not user defined now. So approval is what rule based now. Fine, go there. <laughs> Make a change of the upload to use the user base and then give a save and close. <coughs> <coughs> so, once when you make a change to this, it will be prospective and not retrospective at all. So, whatever is gone is gone now. Fine. Only with a new item request only will be honored actually. This is what is getting a new item request. Fine, click on okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Now we go there and then get an item. No, fine, click on it. And we'll see what how the enrichment take place. So, click on the uh, <laughs> you go to the product management. <coughs> you go to the product information management. You go to the product management and then go to the product information management. Here, I am now going to create a new item actually. So you click on it and then here, what happens? You go there, click on create item. We are now creating a new item. Now, click on create new item. So I will now use my G71. Now, find G71. I am using it. Click on it. And then go down. Drop down. I will now choose my iPad laptop. And click on it. So click on OK. Your warning is coming with the item class modified attributes. Fine. Somebody is not doing a deployment also. Fine. Doesn't matter. Fine. Okay. Ours is already deployed. It doesn't matter. So it's not coming. Fine. I will not say okay, test file. I'm not doing it. It's not coming. I will not go to the specifications. Fine. Go to the specifications. It is in a draft stage. Remember. The draft stage. Fine. Go to the specifications. So I will not go to the inventory area. Fine. Click on the inventory area. So here, what I will do is I will now make some changes. Fine. Go on it. Lot is there, so it's working. He is now going to create what with a what's called full lot control. With a full lot control, he's getting it, and then he's now saying, uh, I, I user defined expiration date, not user defined. I will now say, uh, item shelf life days. He is now going to make it as five, five days. So he is now making a shelf life days. And then the person who is enriching it is now saying, It's not five days, it is going to be changed to seven days. He's now going to make a change. So you can even make a lot of changes here and there now, right? So the shelf life days, he is now going to make a change. The, the the enricher the attribute enricher will now check all the inventory all the inventory attributes and then he will know what happens enrich whatever he wants okay in our case what happens we are going to test it on shelf life days with the lot control as a full control the starting prefix is what lot underscore and then the starting number is what 101 because they are all mandatory ones i am now giving it as what so these two are mandatory and then item shelf days is five days not so go there, it. i will now give a save fine, on, so the item is now getting created fine or when you're going to give us you know getting a new item number fine, on, save it. we'll be getting a new item number this way is there fine, right? so you know g71 underscore 1020 or something like that will be coming now fine that is the item number because it is rule based now basically <clears throat> now once when you submit it it will be sent to emp4 for enrichment actually it will be sent to emp4 for enrichment now fine now item, item is getting saved actually so G71 underscore 1040. Since it is a draft, what happens is now coming in the gray color now. We are going to submit it. 1040 is the one. G71 1040. Click on submit. It will be going to the definition enricher actually. Click on submit. A new NIR will be triggered actually. So it will be triggering NIR. A create new item request. Click on next. It's now going to trigger NIR. Now click on it. So go to the next screen. So click on the save and edit. Click on save and edit. You had to give a number. I will now say NIR. I will now say definition phase. 
So I will not give a name also, right? The definition phase. So NAR definition phase is the one. I will not take a copy of it. And then put in the description also. Right? Paste it. Okay. I'll put the description. So click on what? Save and edit. Right? So save and edit. Let it be assigned to anybody. It doesn't matter. Fine. Because uh, here, what happens? Uh, the, it is not going to assign. We are now bypassing the assignee actually. You know, uh, by, by, assignee is getting bypassed. Right? Because save and edit. The assignee is getting bypassed actually. We are given a tick mark on the uh, skip uh, assignee request actually. It has been given. And go there. Come on. I'm coming on. Go there. Go there. Go there. And then here, what happens? We go to the action log. Right? If you go to the action log, yeah, nothing will be there. And then go there. So what happens? Demo. Somebody has changed the number also. Right? Demo NAR 250 is the one. Right? Demo NAR 250 is the one. Right? There is a, uh, somebody has changed the number also. Right? So click on submit. So demo NAR 250 is now getting submitted actually. Now we'll go to the governance and then have a look at this. So if I click on it. So click on it. We'll go to the governance and then what happens? Demo NAR 250 will now go and then check out. So it's already coming. Right? Demo NAR is coming. So click on it. And then you can now see it will be marked to EMP4 for enrichment action. If you click on the details now, fine. Click on the details. You can see how many work flows are getting triggered. Fine. Now open is there. Fine. Go there. It's now running. And then afterwards, it will now come to the definition phase for this. So it's open now. Fine. Go there. It's now already bypassed, and so it will be pushed to definition actually. So open. Fine. Go there. So when you go to the fine, you cancel and then wait for somebody. Not submitted for approval actually. So after the definition phase is complete, it will be going for approval. If you go to the action log, then have a look at it. Fine. And then what happens? The promoted definition actually. It has been promoted definition. Fine, go there. It's not promoted. So it will now go to EMP4 for approvals, actually. If I can even cancel the fine, it's not promoted. In the details, what happens? You go there and then you cannot see this will be tick mark. A tick mark has come. Now, what happens? This is a skip request is there. It is no tick mark. And then the definition phase, the progress of the workflow will happen. The progress of the workflow will happen. So give a cancel. No, fine, give a cancel. And then again, come back. No, fine, click on it. So click on the hyperlink of it. No, fine, click on it. And then we'll come back again. No, fine, click on it. And then go to the details. No, fine, click on the details. You cannot see. Now it is in progress, actually. So it is now going to EMP4. So let us now log in as EMP4 and then you go to enrich it now. Can go there, go there. Go there. Go there. Logging in and then do it now. So I will now open up my what I'm saying, edge browser. I click on the edge browser and then go there. And then I will now paste it. Paste it. Put it in the link. So EMP4, I'm going to log in. Fine. So go there. the EMP4 is already there. Fine. Click on sign in. So you will now get a notification. Will not get a notification. Will not get a notification. So that what happens? Yes, top rule. In the top, what happens? You will not click on it. Fine. You will not click on it. You will not get a notification. Fine. Action required. New item request. Demo info requires a definition action. So he is now going to enrich the inventory attribute. Fine. You will not click on it. Fine. You will not click on it. Action required. If you click on it, what happens? It will now open up one more page. And then that you will now ask you to go to task. You will now have what? Your go to task icon is coming. Fine. Here you will not click on it. And he has got an uh, what happens? Uh, Enrichment only on the inventory area and no other area. Fine. He will not click on it. Fine. The inventory area will open up for enrichment actually. Hmm. So click on it and then go there. You go there, go down. Fine. Go there. It's not coming. So inventory is coming. So the inventory is the only area which is coming. So here he says that it is not shelf life days, it's not five days. You're not going to make it as what? Eight days actually. You know, made a change. So click on it. And then he has made a change actually. Fine. Likewise, any other attributes you can change. Since you are given all the attributes, we can even specifically choose also. Some attributes can be specifically chosen and then delete. You know, what AD is. You will not give a save. No, click on save. And then he will not mark us a complete because his enrichment activity is now complete actually. So click on save. You know, complete. So you will not click on mark complete. So click on mark complete. So once he has marked as a complete, it will be coming back to our source system now. And then there, it will be progressing from the definition phase to approval phase. From definition phase, it will be progressing to approval phase actually. Mark complete, no fact on it. In the definition phase, it will be going to the approval phase. No. It is not done, fine. So we will not come back to our system, fact on it. No, go like, go it. And then click on done, no fact on done. And then you can see a tick mark will be coming and then the approval will not begin. No fact click on done. And then requery, no fact click on it, requery. So click on search again. Let's click on search again. And then go there. And then I will not see what I'm going to make it as what null. And then what I'm going to remove the assigned and then make it go. You know. So click on search, no fact click on search. No fine. Uh, I will not say demo, fine. Demo and then go there and click on search demo NAR 2D is the one fine. So 2D this one. So you go there, click on it. I'll go there. I will not go to the details of it. I'll click on it and then see. Now this place is no complete. My definition is no complete. The approval has begun. The approval has begun. You go to the action lock, go there, on it. You go to the action lock. There's no submitted for approval actually. And since it is going to be an automatic approval, I'm promoted to approval actually. Approval requested. So what we do is we'll now go there and then we'll now right click and then duplicate and then query for the item. Right click and duplicate and then query for the item. Go there. Go to the product management and then go to the product information management. No, fine. Go there. Go there. 
go high and I come I will not go to the product information, but I will not go there. And then here, whatever, go there, click on it. And then, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. And then, we will not go to the browse items and then query them. The 1040 is the item actually. So, uh, we'll go, there, go to the browse items and then let us not query the item. It's a G71. Underscore 1040 is the one, right? So click on search, right? click on search, and then have a look at it, right? click on it. They're becoming on the water now. And then go there, click on it, and then it is now approval, and then afterwards, what happens, new item request is there, in approval actually. So once when the approval is complete, then what happens, it will be getting, what happens, the triggered action, a new open request. I hope that uh, nobody has uh, changed the approvals, and I'll click on it. Uh, that is what I'm going to so click on it, no see. We'll go there, click on it, and then it is an automatic approval, just set, and I'll click on it, we'll make a search, and I'll click on search. 250, right? Click on 250. And then go there. And then you go to the details. Now, right? now what happens? The approval has got completed and then it's gone to the schedule now. Right? Schedule. And then finally it'll be going to complete it. So if you go there, right? the action is now scheduled. If you go there and then requery, now click on it. It'll be what? It'll be whatever new item request. It'll be scheduled now. Right? If you cancel now and then requery, now click on it. I will now make a search and then do it now. Right? Click on search again. And then uh, click on the hyperlink of it. Now click on this. And then finally it'll be approved. Now it has gone to schedule. Now it has also gone to approve. Now. Fine, no problem. If you go there, fine, go there. So click on done and then come out of it. Now, fine. now scheduled and then what happens? It will be approved. So click on search. Now, fine, go there. Go there. So NIR 250 is the one to find demo. NIR 250, fine, click on it. Now go there. And then go to the details of it. Now, fine, click on it. How many workflows have got completed? All the workflows have got completed, actually. And then if you go to the action law, also you can see everything has got completed. The schedule is completed. And so what happens? Finally, it is now promoted to complete, actually. And so now we are getting the item has got approved. So this is called item enrichment. And if you go to the specifications and see, you know, see he has not changed from five to eight actually. If you go to the inventory, if I click on the inventory, have a look at the finger. So it is not the shelf life days is not eight days actually. The shelf life days is eight days actually. So this is on attribute enrichment by a uh, definition uh, employee. So for inventory, we can have one employee. And then afterwards, for the purchasing one employee, likewise, what happens? We can even have multiple employees to enrich the attribute actually. So give a cancel. We'll now go to the next topic on this topic. Point. So definition phase is now complete. Now what happens? We are going to go out. approval using approval group. Now. Right. We are going to have approval using approval group actually. <clears throat> so first of all, what I'm going to do is I will now go and then create what happens here. It's called approval group. Now. Right. So click on that now. Right. I will now go to the manage approval groups and then create an approval group. So where, what happens, we'll be having multiple employees and then whether, I'll not see whether the two and three are still ready or not, frankly, on it. No, go there, click on it. Uh, I will not go to what, uh, whether the two and three are ready or not, frankly, on set up on because the employee have been done, but I'm not very sure about whether they're ready or not, frankly, on it. Click on it, click on search, no, fine. I'll not go to the manage item class and then see it, no, fine. Manage person, item person, item person, class person. I'll not see whether the two and three employees are ready for doing this next exercise of what approval group, actually, frankly, on it. I will not go there and then query for the G71 now, fine. G71 and train. I will not choose the ice file laptop. Click on it. I'm not click on okay. And then click on the edit mode, friend. Bring it to the edit mode. And then I go to the item management here now, fine. Item management, friend. Go that mode. <laughs> and then here, what happens? I go there. If I drop down and then see, no, fine. Go to the edit mode and then see whether all the three, all the four employees are available. Fine. Go there. Click on G71 and then click on search now, fine. Click on search. It's not coming or not. Fine. Oh, God. They are to come. It takes a long, long time. You're not coming at all. We are given the requisite roles of product data steward, product manager, and then employee. So it has to come over here now, right? For enrichment, actually. Right? It is not coming at all. I don't know what exactly the issue now. So, okay, fine. So now what I do is I will now set up an approval group now. Thank you. We are now going to set up an approval group. So click on that. I will now go to the manage approval groups on the center. No go there. No go to what? Manage percentage pain, APP percentage pain, G R O U P percentage. So I will now set up the manage approval groups when you it. So for that, I will not set up the manage approval groups. So we are going to set up the manage approval groups, fine. So click on plus and then I'm going to create approval group actually. So go there. So the approval group is what? G71 underscore APP underscore GRP underscore one. Fine, that is what I'm doing. The approval group. So I will now add the EMP2 and EMP3. Fine, click on plus now, fine, click on plus. And then I will now add the employee. So employee names can be directly written over again. Fine, G71 underscore EMP2. Fine, go there. And then what happens? Click on OK. By KV, OK, it will be coming over there. And similarly, what happens? They will not give a plus. Now, fine. Click on plus. I will now say after EMP2, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. G71 score EMP3. Now. And then click on it. Now, your notification, please enter the value. GMP, G71 underscore EMP3. 
ஓகே தான் ஓகே தான் ஆக அட்லீஸ் என்ற வேலிட் யூஸ் ஆகும் ஓக அட் நாட் கமிங் EMP2 is coming EMP3 is yet to come off and then the activity is still going on home for it click on it let's say it's what G71 underscore EMP3 <coughs> so click on okay now it's not saying thing but I will not remove it and then what happens there click on the magnifier icon <laughs> the first name is what the last name is EMP3 you know EMP3 and then I will not make a search of it because only you want to use it of it no <laughs> click on three it is not coming i don't know why it's not coming inside nothing click on it right? and then click on okay some problem i written only same nothing click on it so inside no. so i have now got two employees emp2 and emp3 so the system will now send a notification to approve to both of them no. and then what happens one of them has to claim the notification let us say emp3 is claiming it then the notification will be lost for emp2 if he claims he, he will be losing it no. so a notification to approve will be sent to both the employees and then it is basically called first responder wins actually it is called first responder wins so whomsoever is claiming first he is now going to either approve or reject actually so once when an employee claims it then the other employee will now lose the control of the notification actually as well as so we have now created two employees on the approval group one fine click on save so click on save by which what happens the approval group has been saved successfully now that's it by having done this what happens is split close now right of course the bpm work list this is for what happens the manage approval groups so close the screen totally now no no so we are now created an approval group like that so go there now what happens is we are going to bypass the definition phase bypass the definition phase and then take it to the approval directly now so no bypass it and then take it to the approval go there so i will now go to the manage item class now we will go to the manage percentage for you item percentage for you class percent I will not go to the manage item class bank. Click on it. Click on the hyperlink of it. Click on it. I will not go there. I will not query for the G seventy one. The G seventy one. I will not go there. Query for it. So go there. I will not choose the iFi laptop bank. Click on okay. No querying for it. iFi laptop. Click on query. And then click on edit mode. Automatically, that iFi laptop will be coming to edit mode bank. So the iFi laptop is coming to edit mode. I will not go to the manage item class bank. Go there. Click on it. And then here, what happens? Nothing to be done. Right? Now I am going to bypass the definition phase. So whatever is there will be bypassed on other one. Right? Even though we are mentioning EMP for us to do the enrichment, but it will not go there at all. Right? Not go there because I am going to bypass the definition phase totally. So in item class, nothing to be done. Right? Okay, you can leave it as well. nothing to be done. Nothing to be done. Now what we do is we will not go there. And then click on turn off. Right? We are not going to bypass it in our other area. Right? Right? So we are going to bypass it. Right? So in the upper using, right? I will not go to the manage item request type details. No? I will not take a copy of this. Right? Not the manage item class. Right? Right? I will not go to this place. Right? 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 Click on it. Even though the definition is there in the item class, it will not be honored at all because the workflow will not honor at all. Right? So the skip request is not done. So if there is a default as any, it will not go him for his not actually, but it is skipping it. Whatever there is no need at all. Right? Right? So instead of definition, what happens? You will not bring it to approval directly. So here, what happens? Is that this definition is now bypassed. Right. it is only for the future and not for the present right. so from open it will go to the approval directly it go to the approval what happens is rule based no is rule based fine go there what else fine go going there fine click on it no done fine go there give a save and close by which what happens once when you submit it it will now go to the approval fine go on so click on save and close so the item what happens this one is changed. so even though we are given the definition on your item uh, item class but that will not be honored because the workflow is now skipping from open to approval directly So click on save and close. It's all done. Now, fine. Click on it. We will now order it. After having done the changes, and then we are done it. Fine. We will now go there, and then we will now introduce our approval to approval group. Actually, we are going to introduce it. So go there. It's not done. Now, fine. So manage task configuration for one. We will now go there. We will now go to the manage task configuration of it, and then we already created the approval group. We will go there. We will now change it. Now, fine. Click on it. We will now go to the manage task configuration. Fine. Paste it. Now, fine. Manage task configuration. Now, fine. Management. Fine. Click on it. I will now go there. Click on it. I will not go there, and then we are not going to build it. No, I will not go there, and then put this value. No, I will not. This is a new item request task, upload task. No, take copy. I will not paste it, and then make a go. No, and then give a go. No, if I click on go, it will be coming in the bottom line. So click on it, and then we are not going to bring it edit mode, and then change it from automatic approval to approval group actually. So we already configured the automatic approval. So we are going to change it to what approval group. <coughs> you click on it, and then whatever it will be changed to approval group actually. So we'll not go there, and then we'll not bring it edit mode, and then change it to what approval group? You know, your automatic approval. So it's not coming for that. So I will not bring it to edit mode. No fine. First of all, I'll bring it to edit mode, and then here again, it is now asking you to synchronize it. Fine. Click on the start synchronization. The process will keep on going. It doesn't matter. Fine. Let it go in the back end. Fine. Doesn't matter. 
synchronization process is not going to start now. We call it. It is not starting. Right. So after it starts, wait for some time, and then afterwards, what happens? Again, if you query, it will not say the synchronization is under progress actually. The synchronization has already started, but the icon is now coming like this. Fine. I will not close it and then requery it. No, I will not get requery it. I will not go and requery it. I will not paste this. No, I will not paste it. And then, what I will do? Don't go there. I will not know. New idea. This is over. No, correct. Sorry, sorry. Take a copy and then I will not paste it. No, I will paste it and then keep on go. No, I will keep on go. Delete it. Select it. And then you cannot see the synchronization progress is not going on. It is already in the edit mode. And go to the assign list. No, I will go to the assign list. And then in the last one, fine, we have to disable all of the things. You know, fine, somebody has enabled everything, fine, for that. So I will not disable every other thing. You know, fine, click on it. I will not go there, click on it. I will not go to the advanced and then I will not ignore the part of it. So it is not ignored. And then no, fine, for that. So you will not give a save, no, fine. Click on save. So and then we commit it. Committing is one, fine, you will not commit it. It is a save, actually. It is not getting saved, actually. So we are not saving this, no, fine, click on it. And then similarly, what happens? We will not save the remaining two also, but ignore it and then save it actually. If you want, you can even reduce those and then see what how they are functioning actually. So click on this next one. I will not go to the advanced, and then I will not put a tick mark on this one. Click on it. I will not give a save. It is ignored. Click on again. Then go there. I will not go to the assignees. I click on the assignees and then go to the new item request. I will go to the other one. I will ignore it. Right now, I will not save and commit everything. Save and then commit also. Now save and then click on commit. By committing it, whatever the everything will be committed action. Okay. So you know, task saved and committed. Fine with that. If you go to the assign is to find it on the assignment, you can now see that all of the things are disabled. Only this is the only one enabled. I will not click on it. So this is the only one enabled. In the advanced, it is not ignored. Part of it is not there. I will, I will not go to the basics. Now I click on it. And then I will now first of all bring it to edit mode. Click on the bring it to edit mode. Since it is already saved and committed, fine with that. I will not go to the assign is. And then click on it, and then I'm not going to make a chain. Okay? Click on the hyperlink on the business rule. Okay? Click on the hyperlink on the business rule. No open. It has been configured for what? There are so many things that there. Only rule one is enabled. Actually, the remaining already disabled. Okay? Okay. I will not make a chain. I will not select and then first of all delete this rule. There's an automatic approval. Okay? Let me delete it. I'm not deleting it actually. And then click on plus. And then what I mean, the if, if condition is okay, then it's only going to be what? If it's only one and one, fine. Okay? Go there. I will not make a what? Asset new. Fine. Okay? So click on it. I'm not going to see what I will do. Okay. Add approval. Then what happens in the not asset new? Fine. Go to the add approval as an approval group. Fine. Add approval as approval group. The bottom add approval and approval group. Fine. I will look and drop it down. I will not choose what? G71 now. G71, I'm going to choose it. This approval group I need it. And here, allow empty groups is true now. I click on it. The rule is rule one. So we are now modified it to what? Delete the automatic approval and then introduce the what? The approval group over here. The approval group has been reduced. No, click on it. The approval has been reduced. No, click on it. Everything is done. No, click on it. So go there. Click on it. And then it is not done. And then what happens? You validate it. So once when you make a new one, what happens? Have a habit of validating it. No. And then have a look at the validation results. No, click on it. So it will check the syntax only. Logic it will not check at all. It's not done. No, click on it. So click on save. And then click on commit. No. So click on save. You know, saving it. Click on it. It will approve it. So employee two and employee three will be getting a notification. No, click on it. And then click on commit. Not done. So the whole activity is now complete. Now, click on it. They let it synchronize. It doesn't matter. Fine. No close it. The activity is now completed. Now, having done the major change before you get up over fine, click on it. I will now log out and log in and then do it. Any major changes have a habit of logging out and signing out and signing in. Sign out. And then click on confirm and then we will now sign in. We are now signing in. So we are signing in and then here what happens? go there. Go to the product management and then go to the product information management. Let us now create a new item. So and a notification will go to EMP2 and EMP3. And one of you have one of them has to claim actually. Right, click on it and then go there. So click on it. You know, create an item. You know, creating an item. So it doesn't have any deferration phase, no enrichment at all. G71 is the one. Go there. <clears throat> you know, go there. Drop it on and then choose our item class. Now click on it. Everything is coming quick. Come on, okay, now. Somebody is now modifying the your attribute groups and modify the fine. So click on OK. It doesn't matter. Ours is already deployed, and so we do not have to worry at all. Click on OK. Now. We'll see. Post six. Now click on it. Go there. Click on it. And then go there. And then click on save because I don't want to want to be anything at all. Whatever there is OK. Fine. Click on save. And then we are going to submit it. So NIR will be triggered for what happens approval by an approval group actually. So the item is not getting saved. So you will now see G seventy one underscore one zero five zero will be the item. 
a new item is coming up from. So once when you submit for it, it will be going for approval to EMP2 and EMP3. So both employees will be getting a notification actually. Mm -hmm. Over there, 10505. So click on submit and now survey get my So the NIR will not trigger actually. It is in a draft stage. Now click on next open. So click on clicking item over and click on save where it is. We have to give it nothing. I will not say name is what uh uh approval GRP. Some name I'm giving it now. Okay, we'll not the NAR number now. Find the next number will demo underscore NAR number. If I click on save it, it will not give you the number now. Find demo NAR. What is the number now? It may be 260 actually. So in the 260 demo underscore NIR underscore 260. So action log whatever is just created actually. So click on submit by which whatever the demo underscore NIR 260 is now going to be submitted. Then click on submit. It will be submitted for approval. So it will now go to both the employees. Now and click on it. I will now go to the governance area and then go to the management item request and then query for it. It's already coming away now. So click on it. I will now click on it. Otherwise, whatever the property will search it. Demo NIR 260 is the one. Click on it. Not submitted for approval. Fine. You go to the details and click on details. So here it's now skipped now. And so what happens? It will be getting a tick mark here. And then it will be definition also it'll be it's not going. It will now go to the approval phase directly. If you go to the action log and click on the action log. You now see what happens. Sir. Promoted to approval. It has got to promote and approval. So now what happens? Sir? From a open stage, it will be what happens? The workflow will be tick mark, and then you'll now find that what happens sir? your progress icon will be coming on the approval now. Thank you. Cancel. Thank you. Cancel. And then click on search again now. Fine, click on search again. Nothing is coming. Fine, I'm not making it none now. And then remove this and then make a search now. Fine, NIR 260 is the one I'm going to put in. Now, fine, click on it. So, what about the NIR a demo? A demo and then make a search now. Fine, click on search. It'll be getting 260 now. Fine, 260 is the one. The last one. Now, fine, click on it. So, click on the demo. So, if you go to the details now, fine, you can see. Yeah, what happens? Your progress icon is now coming on this now. If you go to the action log, what happens? It is now submitted for approval. It is now submitted for approval. So now both the employees will be getting a notification actually. Approval request to action. Now we will now log in as what? EMP2 now. We will now go there and then log in as EMP2 and go there. You will now get a notification. Yes, to claim actually. So take a copy of it. I will now go there. I will now log out of this now. Log out of it and log in as EMP2 now. You know, EMP4 actually, you know, login as EMP2. EMP2. Right. Click on sign. Oh, God. EMP2. There is a password problem, actually. I have set up the passwords properly already. Oh. Click on done. Click on it and then it will now go inside and then set up the EMP2 and EMP3 passwords actually. Go to the security console. Go to the users now. Go to G71. Enter in EMP2. I have to reset the password. So these three rules are already there. If I click on reset the passwords. Click on reset passwords. The password is reset. Then click on the log. So we'll leave a EMP4 also and make a check. Reset password. Click on reset password. The password is changed by click on the log go there and then we'll log in as EMP2. This I will now close it now by click on it. Ah, I will now go to this place now by click on it. What is this place? Go to this place. I am already when well, now go to the home and then see with home here. Now. I have to be an EMP2 actually. So it's EMP4 if I click on it, log out. Sign out and then do not sign in as EMP2. EMP2. So click on the sign in. God. So there may be a disallowance. I click on it. 
இந்த இயம்பிடுவோட இட்ஸ் நாட் லாக் அவுட் இட்ஸ் இன்ஆக்டிவ் சம்படி ஹஸ் இன்ஆக்டிவேட்டட் ஒருத்தர்ஸ்ல So that is why initially what happened, the EMP2 was not coming at all, but it was inactive. That is the problem. But now go to the EMP2, fine. click on sign in. Now you will be able to sign in. Now I want to give a seat. I want to give a seat. Now I want to give a seat. So we go inside. EMP2. So we are gone there. In fact, I want to give a seat. EMP2 is not that. I want to. So if you go on, then have a look at it. Now you are now logged in as EMP2. Oh God. No, still coming as EMP1 on the EMP1 on the block up. Oh, you are in this place, not at your own. So here I am going to log in. So I am going to go to EMP2, I am going to log in. In the Edge browser, I am now logging in as what EMP2. I am logging in as EMP2. Now, we got a notification, fine, click on it. If you click on it, what happens? It will not show you this one now. It is not coming here, now I click on it. It is not coming here. So otherwise, what happens? You go to the left hand side, click on it. And then here, what happens? You go to the tools. And then here, what happens? You go to the approvals. I click on the approvals. You want to go to the approvals. So if in the approvals, what happens? You can go there and then see his approval actually. The approval will come. So it will not show the approvals. So the fusion application automatically generates one. The NAR requires the approval. So you know what is there? Fine. So here we have to claim it actually. Fine. There is no such claim coming up. No, fine. Claim is not coming. So otherwise, what happens? You have to claim. No, fine. Click on it. So it requires approval. No, fine. Click on it. It will not go there. So we will not click on the NAR 260 approval required. Fine. Click on it. And then here, what happens? I will not go and then straight away approve. So we can even, what happens? The claim it, fine, claiming is not coming. So click on approve. Otherwise, if the claim comes, you have to claim it also. Right? On. So once when he approves it, what happens? It gets approved actually. <clears throat> no word approved. Over. And then you know, approved it, in fact, approved is gone. If you click on the more it is, we can very well see the details and then afterwards again come back and then do this one. So you can even click on the more it is. You can also see whatever is there, fine, everything is there. Fine, that's been marked to both actually. Fine, EMP3 and EMP2 and EMP3. Fine. Now, EMP2 has now completed it and then the task has got completed. Otherwise, EMP3 will be completing it and then task will be getting completed. So, it now shows EMP2 has now completed it. Fine. Once when you make, if EMP3 claims it, but the claim icon is not coming, otherwise the claim button will be there actually. I don't know why it's not coming now. It's not coming now. It will not go there. Now, in this place, what happens? You can now see that it is now progressed actually. I will now go to the product management. Now, fine. Go to the product management. I will now go to the product management. product management and then i go to the product information management and then there what happens you go there i will now see the nar 260 is the one where i will now make a query now frankly on it and then it would have got even approved also by this time the approval is now got completed so it is now going parallel to two employees and then whomsoever is claiming first he will be in a position to approve it click on it now go to the management i'm request me to go there go there is a, a, a demo <clears throat> underscore so click on search 260 is one click on it demo nar i will make a null and then i remove these two fields also fine and then make a query thank you for search for the 260 is the one fine click on it for the and then you know how to look at the data something like that so it has been submitted for approval and then all the activities are also got copied everything has got copied so from here whatever there is no skipping the definition phase gone there everything is approved fine if you go to the action lock It has now got completed. Right? This is also completed. Right? So promoted to complete it. Now go on the query or item. Right? Click on it. Now go on the query item. So go there. Click on it. Now go to what? Go to the browse items and then query for it now. So click on the browse items. Go to the browse items. Right? And then go there. The G71. G71 is the one point. Make a search on the point. The latest item. Go on, go on, go on. There is 115 of it. Click on it once. You can now see there is a bit of approval. So, this is on what? Approval group approvals actually. I hope this is clear enough. Right? So, I'm going to stop the record. So, tomorrow we will now see what? The change orders as well as the import maps. The change orders and import maps will be correct. And then we will now continue on this. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow will be the possibly a last day for the product data hub. It's a small module. Try to practice everything as soon as possible actually. Got it? Can somebody say yes to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So now, bye for now, and then we'll now meet tomorrow. Okay, fine.
பை பண்ணும் இதெல்லாம் மீட்டு போகணும்